Welcome back to the show, everyone. Well, this year it seems that many of the Ducks are spending more time on the trainers and operating table than on the field. Joey Forster out with a knee. Hello, Tainata, a knee as well. Keith Allen, Josh Rogers, many others also lost for the season with assorted injuries. For Stephen Clayton, though, the body still works. The legs are fast. The arms are strong. Making the decision to end his career due to recurring concussions, however, that was the hardest he's ever had to make. Nicola Beta has more. Stephen Clayton has reached a turning point. It was probably one of the most difficult things I've done in my whole career, deciding to be done, which isn't easy. Clayton only a junior is done playing the game of football, a game he has been playing every Saturday since a child. And to make matters worse, the decision to walk away wasn't his to make. It was one concussion after the next, which shut him down. First, I thought, you know, it's just a normal thing. You know, it's part of football, being hurt, just a different kind of injury. And once it got to a point where it was like four or five of them, you know, then you start thinking a little bit more about, you know, should I be doing this? And like, is my head able to keep taking the pounding? The poundings came early and often in his college career. Clayton suffered the first concussion as a freshman during spring camp. Then they became more frequent and more severe. And given his style of play, the risk was starting to outweigh the reward play with a lot of heart, a lot of motion, just kind of a little bit of craziness to me and just running down like on a kickoff team and just hitting people twice my size and just kind of not really thinking twice about it. And that heart and desire will be greatly missed by his team and coach. It was one of the guys that we could count on to be emotionally fired up and excited to play the game of football. And I think anytime you lose a player, a player is not able to finish his career. That's a that's a shame. Clayton is still very much a part of this team, finding some comfort in the kind words from his now former teammates. You know, they're saying I'm sorry, they're going to miss me, that kind of stuff. So I feel good about what they've been saying to me. And Stephen will still have plenty of chances to run through this tunnel as an Oregon Duck. That's because he's decided to continue his career at Oregon as a coach. Of course, I want to stay involved with the team still. And he said I had an opportunity to maybe help as an undergrad assistant which I want to do because I want to go into coaching. And once he turns that corner into coaching, Stephen will always have fond memories, like beating the team he grew up cheering for. And one hit he won't soon forget. One of my most favorite moments was against Arizona State a few years ago. I had one of my biggest hits. Nicola Beta for the Oregon Sports Network. Hey, Coach, uh, so many injuries this year. It's like piling on to have another one. Uh, you've got Kellen Taylor out now for four weeks with a wrist, maybe more. Uh, but losing someone like Steve Clayton, who's uh, such an emotional, inspiring guy, that's just such a huge loss. It is hard. And again, I, I feel more for Steve Clayton, as I've said, because he loved football. He loved the excitement of it. He loved the team part of it. He loved to compete and he loved to make plays, and, and that's the kind of kid you want out there on the football field and want on your team, and when he can't play, it, it hurts you and your team, but you just you feel for the young man because that's been part of his identity. He's going to continue that. He wants to coach, and that's good because I think he has the, the mentality and the work ethic to be a coach. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited to keep him around in the program. Well, hopefully he'll.